In this video, we are going to install Trope Trainer, which um, I downloaded from the Internet Archive and burned to a CD, and we're going to put it on Windows 98, which is free, and there is an a, a code for um, a key for it that's available publicly. So let's uh, try it out. We'll put the CD in. and pray. Okay, it should auto run the CD. Let's give it a second. Here we go. And it's preparing to install. Now, um, there is a key for trope trainer that needs to be entered after it's installed and that came from the um, video by Leo Laporte where he uh, reviewed it so on the Internet Archive when you download it you get version 3.2 from 2005 and then there are some notes here about issues in that version okay so We'll install it. Okay. And now, here it is. There's an icon. We run it. There's a manual uh, PDF file on the CD with instruction. That's the help file. Okay, let's uh, delete. close that. And here we are, and enter the serial number. And now it works. Let's test it. Open a reading, array sheet, open the Torah portion, and it selects Ashkenazic as a default, but you could change that. Okay, let's look at a few features here. So if you click this icon, you see the letters as if as they look in the Torah. And then you could see this style where you see the letters with the vowel points along with side by side how they look in the Torah. So that's better on a monitor with more resolution. Um, on this Windows 98 machine, I didn't install video drivers, so it doesn't look too good. But um, window, this will work on Windows 7. So here, um, okay, let's go back to this one and try the color coding. So this shows how phrases uh, are grouped together. And then you could play by the phrase. And then you should be able to repeat it. So these are the cantillation marks below the letters or above the letters sometimes, like that, which uh, indicate the music to be sung. And here you're seeing the musical notation. Bereshis. You could go word by word. Bora. Bora. Elohim. Elohim. And then you would say that. Elohim. Yep, so you have to... Bereshis. Bereshis. Let's go to this one. Okay, so it's easy to learn, and this goes to the end of a phrase. End of a verse. Okay, now we'll try that again. It'll play verse 2. So the speech synthesizer it's using is the same one that Stephen Hawking used. Let's see. You could repeat play and... Vayomer. Vayomer. Yeah, you could practice Vayomer. as slow as you need to. You could change the pronunciation, like say you want to hear it in German. Vayomer Elohim. 
That's interesting. Yeah, there are different dialects, uh, variations. Sephardi is what you'd probably hear in most shuls today. Let's see, a word, let's see, like this word. So that was merachefet, but if you go to Ashkenazi, merachefes, merachefes, because this is an S in Ashkenazi and a T in Sephardi, and like this in Ashkenazi, behoretz, and in Sephardi, Be'aretz. So it's Ha'aretz in Sephardi, different vowels. And this highlights the cantillations in color, the cantillation marks. Okay, show underlines on words with special melodies. So you could spend hours playing around with this. So say you're a tenor and you want to hear how you would uh, pronounce it. Okay, let's hear the phrase. Very nice. So this program was resurrected after the owner passed away.